Hey, what's going on? You're tuned into The Daily Geek right here on SweetGeek.tv. I'm your host, Griffin Granberg, and today is September 11, 2008, which is my little brother's birthday, so I have to say happy 16th birthday, Trev. But now, I have to get to the geek news. Starting with story number one, the official Google blog has a post called The Future of Search. It's quite a long post, but if you want to see what Google's PR department says the future of the search industry is, make sure you check out the link on the interesting links below, which is on our main site, sweetgeek.tv. Story number two, the Entrepreneur as Leader article on entrepreneur.com is a 10-point article talking about how leadership can help boost your business. Definitely a cool article. I think you should check it out. Story number three, TechCrunch 50 ended yesterday. Kind of sad. I like seeing startups launch that type of deal. And TechCrunch 50 did a good job, even though they had numerous mic problems and Jason's, Jason Kalkanis uh, and his drinking issues. But anyways, uh, some of the startups that actually caught my eye Bird Post, Yammer, who actually won, Closet Couture, Dropbox, Other Inbox, and Swipe. Now, if you want synopsis of those, make sure you check out TechCrunch.com or you can check out TechCrunch50.com. Moving on to story number four, which is also about startups. What countries are the best? Well, in no particular order, the top five are Hong Kong, Denmark, Singapore, New Zealand, and the U.S. Now, U.S. is actually not number one, but if you want to know who is number one, Check out the article on the interesting links below, which again is on our main site, sweetgeek.tv. Story number five, Google might be seeing some antitrust lawsuits come its way thanks to the Yahoo! Google search marketing deal. Now, uh, who's standing on the sidelines cheering on this antitrust lawsuit? Uh, Steve Ballmer from Microsoft, which happens to know a few things about antitrust lawsuits. But you know what? I do think it's going to limit competition. With Google and Yahoo! team together, that's like 90% of the search volume the entire world, which is pretty crazy. So not necessarily for it, but as more details come out, I'll make sure to let you know. Story number seven, Facebook is not going to move to its new design and force all of its users. In fact, they're going to move that to a few weeks uh, from now because they did force it on them, kind of, and the petition against the new Facebook design went from about 400,000 people to over a million people. So you won't be forced into the new design just yet, but, and you know, the next few weeks, it's definitely going to be the inevitable step. Uh, moving on to story number eight, TiVo coming soon to your BlackBerry. I think it's a novel idea. First, you're going to be able to control your TiVo, you know, schedule recordings, look at what's scheduled to record. And then the ultimate goal in the future is to have the video content actually come to your BlackBerry, which I am all for. If you want to see an article about it, make sure you check out the link on the interesting links below. And lastly, story number nine, this one's for my good friends Adam and Amber. Rock Band 2 Standalone Instruments coming out next week. Now, the new standalone drum set's going to cost you about 90 bucks, and the guitar around 70 But if you're hardcore Rock Band tours like uh, Adam and Amber are, I'm sure you're definitely interested in getting them. If you want to see pictures of them, make sure you check out the link, the link that I've included on the interesting links below, which, again, on our main site, sweetgeek.tv. And that is the Geek News for September 11th, 2008. I'm your host, Griffin Granberg, for The Daily Geek on sweetgeek.tv. And I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.